Bella, Bella. Thank you. The onion leg. The onion. The onion leg. Nafaat. 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 Okay. Nafaat. Is it hot? Oom. Mmm. Dum. 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 Wow. أنا أميركا بس ما تأخذ شعب عليك قعدت الحق حراي تفضل أوه she said when she comes to America she's gonna make us أوه أوكي سأسه سأسه أسمع سأسه أسمع سأسه If you're curious about a place or something, go and see it. You know, just do it. Uh oh, watch out! You got. <laughs> this is outside. This time. In that, you also meet friends that end up being friends for a lifetime. A lot of good friends that I have in New York, from Milano, I met here. Loads of good friends I have in England, I met here in my teens. Uh, even more friends that I have in Norway, also met here in my teens. So these relationships, these friendships go on to be for a lifetime. And it all happens here because although we're all Eritrean, we're all dispersed, right? But this is kind of like the meetup, the meet spot every year and it's it's really really special so it's one of the things that i kind of always thought was unique to being eritrean okay fam we're coming to you live from auntie's house because we have a serious request for you all yeah a lot is riding on this loads is riding on this so we have an event coming up here on sunday we would like to replicate that event first of all when you guys see the event you'll understand and understand the enormity and how special this event is we are going to need you when this event comes out, yeah? To make this event blow up and do big things. Like. Okay. That's my ma'arena te. Atene. Preta. Proweni. Eta. Yore. Atene. Atene. Getting his tigrinya all the way up. I'm all the way up. 
nothing can stop us. Um, so it's the beginning of day three. We're at the Intercontinental. Hallelujah. Thank you again. Thank you again. <laughs> We're about to enjoy our buffet breakfast. Um, I'm just going to capture the food quickly. We're going to eat. Okay. Welcome back. Yay, yay. Go ahead, sir. What do we have here? Oh, I, I already saw Panettone. food. Oh my gosh, Panettone. I wonder if I can be... Um, if I can consume gluten in Asmara, my body will forgive me. Mm, right, yes. <laughs> yes. The chocolate says, French toast. Oh, a cigar. There's Coco's brekkie right there. Oh. Wait, is this? Where's the mushrooms? Alkali Yogi believes she's going to be resuming eggs potentially in the near future. Alkali Yogi is wanting to experiment. We've got, ooh, chocolate cereal. Cereal doesn't chocolate. have any nutritional value, just for, <laughs> <laughs> just for the, Jeez. just to be clear. You can make a little station here of cold cuts and cheeses, <gasps> frutta, macedonia, Italian fruit salad, and as you can see, seeds. Seeds, oh seeds, papaya, orange juice. This looks like, no, this is papaya. This might be mango. This is mango and that's orange. What? And look at the space. Welcome to the Intercontinental. Beautiful. All right, so we found our seats. We're going to sit over here. As you can see, it's a quiet morning, maybe because we're late, it's 9.30, but don't get it twisted. We have been up since seven. <laughs> All right, first I'm gonna, before I set up the tripod, yeah, I'm gonna capture what living Isha here. <laughs> Look at him, so gluttonous. Full mushrooms and rice. A whole <laughs> basket of pastries, including panettone. You know this is Italian influenced. Omelet, which I think I'm quite keen on trying. I've not had eggs in years. Um, and fruit salad. All right, so full disclosure, fam, I actually was the one that started off with this <laughs> plate. But then I'm like, that's not really what I want. I want this. And I want these guys, Mango and OJ. We're also gonna get coffee because we're in the land of coffee. But uh, yeah, this is what brekkie is looking like. I'm gonna help with everything. You sure are. Bon appétit. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Jones. <laughs> this is our room, fam. So we didn't capture it yesterday because when we walked in here, frankly, we fell to our knees and gave thanks to God. And we're so busy giving thanks to God <laughs> because it has high ceilings. It has bright sun, daylight coming in. Hi. That's the door. Flat screen telly. Handful of channels, more than three or four to be honest, probably like six or seven. Beautiful view, balcony. Who's this handsome bloke? Ish. <laughs> Moussier. Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> Moussier. <laughs> it's out the Bible. Um, Lovely flag view. right there. We do. South Africa? No, that. <laughs> oh, Eritrea, of course. And down yeah. this way is the airport. Or Puerto. Uh -huh. And this road, I run in the morning. Mm hmm down this nice road. That club was bumping last night. <laughs> um, yeah, we got a lush greenery over here. This is Expo, guys. And it's like, um, it's like this area that has like various venues in there. I've been here for like fashion shows Lots and concerts. <laughs> Going to the pool. Amen. Lovely pool they have, which we have to take a dip in. Maybe tomorrow. You know, I guess today would have been the day because it's holidays and nothing is open. Yeah, actually, we can come back. Yeah. We should um, almost do it now, though, rather than heading out. But I feel like we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of ready to go out. We're going to take a long yeah. walk. Yeah. 
Tomorrow we'll plan it out that way. We'll go pool first um, or earlier on in the day. So yeah, so this is our room. And as you can see, it's very spacious and very comfortable and it's a place where you can come to at the end of a busy, fill, fun-filled day with family and friends and just have some respite, a place of refuge. So we'd like to thank Asmara Palace, formerly Intercontinental. Oh, I've not shown you the toilet. Very, very comfortable. Yes, very comfortable. Look at that. Nicely lit. Some amenities, but you know, I always bring my our own stuff anyways, <laughs> including our own soap, if you know me. <laughs> but yeah, bidet, of course. Marble. Very, very comfortable, adequate hot water and pressure. And we're grateful. Bob's your uncle. Bye. Oh, hey, yeah. There y'all go. Here we are. Taking a little walk outside of the hotel. Outside is calling. Outside is calling. <laughs> so we're walking downtown. We're walking to Aunt's house. Might take like 30, 40 minutes. We're going to take some pictures. Yeah. It's going to give us about two, two and a half hours. Actually, two and a half hours. Time, so. Yeah, we just had a nice breakfast. Did our recap, day one and two, or day two. This is day three, and uh, I'll stop see if I can get my stash and beard lined up, which I'm sure I will. I saw a lot of barbers up there. Exercise, ran, weights. She did yoga. Feeling really good today you got a good sleep and um, really 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 acclimated really adjusted because we was just <laughs> in Ethiopia like last month so it's a little easier to bike ride and we got to see if we can we can rent some bikes Pavarotti City Park. <laughs> spaghetti House. Spaghetti House. <laughs> Which we're going to the Spaghetti House sometime this week or next week. Because I got to see what this is about. So this is a like a club. Or clubs and restaurants in this place. It's like a, it's like a park, I guess you could say. That houses different, you know, like venues for different events. Oh, okay. So this is this is where we're supposed to go, grown and sexy night one of these days. We'll be saying that until the time we leave, and <laughs> not even make it. Well, at least hopefully pop in there for some juice. They make the cafes make really nice juice in there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs>
ระขาธาระอะไรเนี่ยอ right. oh, hey <laughs> Speaking of t h a t s Starbucks c a f e style. That's a good day. Okay. Hi, l o v e Alto, hi, right? Yeah. Hi. Scala, like. Scala. For your house size of the toilet. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was our driver from yesterday. Yeah, Kevin. that's the cool guy. Yeah, one of our cool drivers. All of them. Young cool. fella. Yeah. He's telling and, us where to go. But we got something going on right here. It's the parade. Get your. We gotta get it. You know, we gotta. You know, we gotta get this content. We gotta get it going on. Let's see. Hey fam. So e s h a and I are walking downtown, making a couple pit stops on the way from the hotel. And it's a holiday today, like a baptism of sorts. r e h a s b a al t i m k e t It's a religious holiday, and now we're just running into some of the uh, people that are observing and celebrating this holiday. Come on, the hand up. r e h a s b a As our driver from yesterday, Milion. <laughs> a s m a k a s m a l like that. Uh, what's up? How you doing, man? Nice to walk places. Yeah. 
you don't miss stuff. You end up catching stuff like that. We don't walk to save money. We walk so that we can experience life as a local. And because we're kind of, you know, fitness fanatics, just kidding. Not fitness, it's just about healthcare and wellness, holistic healthcare and wellness. It's also good for the mind, which is part of holistic health and wellness. Where's Senora Jones? He's <laughs> recording me as I'm, as I'm recording him. Baba vlog, you saw me dancing with him on stage. We tried to tell y'all he's famous. <laughs> Jones! You know, how are you feeling? Fresh air jack, you know. 
what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh, uh -huh. just walking around. Uh -huh. I just decided to come to this uh, barber. Uh -huh. I said, you know what? I need to get a little edge up, a little line up. And uh -huh. my man Saul hit, hooked me up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I feel, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. I'm clean and fresh. You look nice. You look very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I heard you. You know, when there's music, this one here, <laughs> my wife just, she, she can't help. She just danced. She all up in the barber shop. The song came on. Have you seen our last video? <laughs> our, I think it's day two in Ethiopia. She was dancing with the guy on stage. But when his videos came on, and she started dancing, hey, hey, I'm in a chair like, <laughs> So, always a good time. I'm consistent. I'm consistent. <laughs> you were saying you love it? I love it. <laughs> I appreciate I don't, you. I never get embarrassed. I, I encourage it. <laughs> you do encourage it. When she, when she bees her, when she bees herself. <laughs> when she's her authentic self. It's nothing like you. Getting high off of the, uh, off the music. Off the music and nothing else. See? Man, all in Italian. All in Italian. Still here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one and only Chinese food restaurant in Asmata. Wonder if it's open. I can't tell like if it's open. still in business or not. I can tell you that I've eaten here and the food is really, really good. I've had great nights here. Okay. I don't know if they're still in business. I hope they are. But the one thing about Chinese food is that I don't know that you can go anywhere and not find it somewhere. I know. <laughs> always one Chinese restaurant. This is one of the only places where there's a whole bunch of black people and only <laughs> one. Because normally where there's black people, there's hundreds of Chinese food restaurants. No, can you imagine like Chinese people are speaking to Grenya? Oh, that, that, see, even. that's what I want to see. That doesn't me even. I'm always amazed. I mean, it just looks, it's just different. So. The restaurant was not open. We don't know if they're in business, but they had the sign that says open. Uh, we didn't get a chance to eat there because we're on our way to eat lunch <laughs> with our aunt. So we'll have to try it another day this week. But we're happy to come back for a longer stay. If you like this video, that quote, that the odds of that are more likely <laughs> that, uh, that we can return later on this Thumbs year. up, thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up. So we can get this flowing and get more content out there. So this is the high street now. We're making our way down towards Sticky Pot. And over here, uh, there used to be uh, the, the monument to the Congo shoes, which are the shoes that um, helped the freedom fighters uh, win the war. Right opposite Zada, which is a cocktail lounge um, that I've had many amazing nights at. It used to be really, uh, so to speak, lit. Not so much these days, I hear, since post vid, not exactly the cool spot anymore. I guess there are new places. But um, yeah, it's still in a great location. And also, this restaurant here, Bluebird Restaurant, has phenomenal pizza Out and phenomenal Bluebird. pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great place. Like the whole thing with this area is that it's great to eat here and then come and have cocktails here. Uh, <laughs> They're right next to each other. So. Also not sure if this place is still open for business. It's actually looking like it may not be. It's hard see, to tell. The vid with the CEO did a lot. Yeah. But also today's a holiday, so we're not sure if they're like closed closed or just closed the holiday. They did. Yeah. Uh, Alright.
right, we're actually coming up to Cinemaroma, which is, again, a really beautiful, lush cinema. Oops, careful now. Uh, you know, built, I think, in the 1930s or there and about. Um, I've actually had the pleasure of performing here with uh, Wodi Tukabo and Tamaskin, a rapper from Asmara. Uh, shout out to both of you, Tamaskin and Wodi Tukabo, and to the show that we did here to raise money for one of the local orphanages. Maybe we can pop in. I mean, we just grabbed a little content. Hang on, stand by, guys. It is. <laughs> I want this poster in my living room. We got to get this for the living room. They got uh, Tiffany Haddish, Aaron Mias, aka Nipsey. And I see this face all over the place. I can't get it. He's Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, look at that shirt. Sunday, she That's said you're gonna see her. Yeah. She said, "Wait till Sunday, you're gonna see her. She's gonna look so cute. She's throwing an event for us. Maybe you can guess what it is." <laughs> and and we plan to, to do this event. We're gonna bring it to you all. And what we need yet is for you guys to make it a huge success, so that we can do it again. Cross the pond. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll see it. Have I said too much? Did I get too much? Even if you guys know, it's all good. It's all good. Even if you figured it out, it's all love. It's one fam now. Take on it. Hey. <laughs> Check messages given. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Mr. Jones, how are you feeling? I got this food. I got some got. <laughs> got. 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 All right, all right. Oops. The hot. Better, better. And yogurt. And it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem. What did you just do? Let's show the people. This is the bar. The good wife bar. Every time I come here, it keeps going up. <laughs> because they spoil him. They spoil him rotten. It's part of the culture. I reckon most African countries do this. I don't think it's like particular to us, but let me know if I'm right or wrong in the comments. But they stuff him. Like he's had a pregnant belly since he arrived. Literally, pregnant belly. I don't know. I can eat this much. Never do, but. Protruding stomach since we arrived on Tuesday. Because like, they continue to feed stomach? them. And because we just had this delicious gat, the volcano, which is so heavy, so heavy because there's sesame, which is beef, yogurt, etc., etc. Hey, <laughs> So back to the message. Back to the PSA, the public service announcement. So, the, so we just had this delicious diet. We don't have room for anything else. We don't eat anything else. The auntie's insisting on making him dinner. It's like three o'clock. Who's going to eat again? Are you fine? So I said to her, don't I make him finish lunch. <laughs> I said, don't make anything else. She said, You're a bad wife. You have to feed your husband. And then he said <laughs> <laughs> Just keep climbing and climbing. Even though he can't eat. He's a product of the West. He's not even used to eating this much. Gazanai Froeni Hatanay Natek Turning Tigranya into a Western song. Did you know? What would she do it? Wanted to show you all the flowers that my uncle brought for me yesterday, appropriately welcoming me home. He said, welcome home. That's what uncle said. Welcome home. I would have done this in a boomerang. That would have been cute. But you know, she can't get any Wi-Fi. So. <laughs> 